I was just touching the eyeball while you were. <laughs> Good. <laughs> you need to touch some eyeballs. No more squeamishness. <laughs> I honestly have never seen anything like this. Hi, I'm Payson from Vice, and tonight we're here with Kara from Meat Hook to learn how to break down a pig, take out the lard, and make some biscuits. How do we start? We're gonna break it down into its primals. The first thing that we do is take this lard off of the stomach. America has a really weird and long history with lard. People are coming back to it. Lard has less saturated fat than butter. So it's completely fine. I mean, in moderation, just like butter. Right, you wouldn't, right. Yeah. <laughs> You're just grabbing this knife. I'm almost scared to watch. My grandfather had a shop in Boston. Did you have to work at the shop? Well, we worked there growing up, but only as cashiers. My grandpa didn't want us to do this. He just knew that it was a tough business and he didn't want that for his kids. But you definitely learned so much just by being exposed. Yes, but I learned all of my actual skills here. That's an awesome opportunity, but what did your family have to say? So my grandpa was really horrified at first. He <laughs> was upset because he didn't know that it was different than what he did right. growing up. Are things like different compared Completely to? Completely different. They care so much more about where the animals are coming from. He came and visited the shop though, like a year ago. Was that the first time? Uh-huh, yeah. And it was really cool. Can I lift this? Sure. Oh, I can't. <laughs> you can. What are we going to be doing with the lard? We're going to make biscuits with the lard. Once we get all of the leaf lard off the pigs, we put it in the grinder there and grind it through. And then you just put it in a pot with just a tiny bit of water so that it doesn't scald on the bottom and burn. Mm -hmm. And you just let it go for like an hour. And then when it's done, Whoa. it's really beautiful white. It's creamy. It doesn't, it barely has a smell at all. And once it cooks, it's Yeah. Like, it just feels like balm. Also, it's like a good like hand salve. Okay, so <laughs> my grandpa is 86 and his hands are smooth as a, like a 20 year old. It's because because of the he's coated in animal fat all the time. It's good yeah, for Yeah, I'm going to do this. It's winter. Do it. Yeah. So once it's rendered, I'll flake it into little cubes mm -hmm. and freeze it with the butter. And then what you do is you just put it into a food processor with flour, mm -hmm. baking soda, salt, all the basic mix. And you pulse it until it's little You clumps. can feel it in mm -hmm. a little. I'm gonna mix some buttermilk into this, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna have biscuit mix. I do a couple of different things at the shop with lard. It's a really good fat for baking. The number one reason is that it has a higher melting point than butter. There's more time for steam release, mm -hmm. and that's what creates flakes in a pastry. How do you know so much about baking? You're a baker? I was before I started here. I was a baker. The last place I worked was called Colony. It's still there. It's in Brooklyn Heights. I was the pastry chef there. Do you ever bake? I have made biscuits, Good. but definitely from like Bisquick mix. <laughs> but you also have a blog. Is this recipe on there? It's not, but I'm writing a book and it's going to be in the book. So The book and the blog are both about recipes from literature. Mm -hmm. So food scenes and literature, and then I'll create recipes for them. What was this inspired by? This is in Little House on the Prairie. I feel like all these skills are just like naturally after working for so long and then you just like know. Well, I feel like these two things are very instinctual. They're both muscle memory and they're both practice and you can't really like read about it, but. Mm -hmm. So you want to be I'll careful. I'll read about it in your book. <laughs> you better. <laughs> Twenty minutes at 400. It's important to put parchment paper or a sill pat down so that the bottoms don't get burnt. Biscuits are done, ready to eat. So they're gonna be like super crumbly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, the steam is unreal. <laughs> they like fall apart. It's probably the best biscuit. Maybe like throw some more bacon on it. <laughs> Let's just keep eating, please. <laughs> My boyfriend walked me here and we did two quick shots on the way here just to relax me. <laughs> That's cool. I ate like a whole bag of potatoes to relax. Are you going to get this? 